Are you a little bug? What's your favorite kind of bug? I don't really know that I love bugs or insects, but I would have to say, I think ladybugs are pretty cool. But my favorite would be like a butterfly. Um, we're going to do math today. We're going to be like little bugs in our math book. But um, you need to grab some supplies. Grab your green math book, of course. Always, yes, please and thank you. And go to page 37. I forgot to remind you, and remember it's in the middle of your book because they were saving paper and they put two books together. So all the way to 37. And today we're continuing to work, or work on um, greater than or less than. So think greater or fewer, bigger or smaller, like opposites, right? And we're going to be using the letter L for less than, or hey, what do you think is greater than? What letter for greater than? G, G, G yeah, G is for greater than. So we're gonna be using those letters to figure out who's bigger or smaller who's less than or who's greater. So see, think for a minute. Let's try now with you and me. Let's see who has the greater age. Okay. I just turned 35. I'm a three and a five, 35. You are six or seven. Who would have the greater number? Me or you? Hopefully you're like, you, Mrs. Jones, you have the greater number of age. Yeah, because I'm getting to be an old lady, but it's greater than your first grade age. Let's get working on page 37. Let's rock this. Don't forget a pencil. I love to do math with a pencil because sometimes I make mistakes. I always do math with you with a pen so you could see it better. So it's vibrant, which means like it stands out. Here we go. Page 37. Ready, steady, goy. Woohoo. All right. If you didn't know, I said find 37. Write your name. Best handwriting you can. And remember, it's not going to be a cursive because we haven't learned that yet. We're still working on being experts at printing our names. So today it says, think of these words, greater than, less than, or equal to, right? And we're going to look at them. Some of them already labeled them for us because they're so nice to us, but we still count because mathematicians like to check their work. And we, in the middle, we write like L for less than or greater than. So here it is. Here's the directions. Draw quick tens and ones to show each number that they did. Here, we're going to actually have to draw. Label the first drawing as less than, greater than is G, or equal the second. Write the phrase on the word banks to compare. So here we go. 20, because that's what they counted, 10, 20, and it's right here, is blank 18, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Is 20 greater than 18 or less than 18? Yeah, 20 is greater than. So guh, guh, greater than, and put a G there. You could, if you want a good challenge, write the whole thing. I'll show you what that looks like. You could write greater than. But I'm just going to write the letters because sometimes it frustrates me when my letters don't fit on that special line. Now we need to write two tens, okay? One, two, 10, 20. Now we need to do three tens. 10, 20, 30. Oh, three sticks, okay. 20, here's what it looks like, is blank 30. All right, who's greater? This one is, so 20 is less than, la, 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 L for less than 30. You're rocking it. Here we go. Now we need to draw 24. 10, 20. One, two, three, four. Now we need to draw 15, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, 24 is blank 15. It's bigger, you're right. So it's g, g, greater, and that comes with the letter G. Whoa, you guys are so smart, okay. Now we have to draw 26, 10, 20, one, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Draw 32, 10, 20, 30. Look how I keep them separate so I don't get confused. 31, 32. 26 is blank 32. Yeah, that one's, that one's bigger, so 26 is less than 32. Write the phrases on the line. So again, we're gonna write G for greater than, L for less than, or an E if they're equal. 36 and 36. What? What's that word when they're the same? Yes, it's equal. So put a big letter E, equal or for excellent first graders. Now I have one, a one ten and eight ones, 18 or three tens and one, 18 or 31. 18 is blank 31. 
It's small, that's big, so it is la la less than. Okay, turn the page. There we go. And we're gonna continue. See where it's looking like it's a ladder? Let me fold my book for you, sorry. Looks like it's on a ladder right here. We're gonna continue greater than, less than, or equal to. 38 is blank 26. It's big, so it is greater than. Okay, now they try to trick me, but I know this is 17 and that's 27. That's a, that's a little number, it's fewer, so it's less than 27. 15 or 12. 15 is greater, so we want greater than 12. 30 or 28? 30 is greater than 29 or 32. Remember, 29 is little or fewer or less, so we want less than. This is where they try to trick us again, but we don't get tricked. We need to put these in order from least, I'm gonna put a letter L over here, to greatest, put a letter G over here. So look here, in this box, find the smallest number. You're right. So put the nine by the L and then cross it out because we did it. Try to keep them neat and separated because you don't want to mix them in together or it doesn't turn into a different number. You're right. Now, who comes after the nine? Who's Who looks like a, yeah, 13. So I'm going to put a little comma and write 13 and then cross it out. I'm done. Who comes next? 40, 32, or 23? Yeah, it, don't get tricked. If this is 23 and that's the one you want. 23. Not my best two, but I tried. Comma. Who's next? 40 or 32? 32. Who's the last number that's the greatest? 40. All right. Now it's going to change your thinking. Did you get all that written? Because you should have, because I'm going to ask at reading groups, did you do this so you could show you were engaged? All right. In order from greatest to least, so that changes. Greatest goes here. G goes here. Least goes way over here. Let's reverse it now. And if we want, we could even use our thinking from up here. It's just going to go this direction rather than this way. So we need the greatest number, 40 or zero. Cross it off. Who would be next? Yeah, 32. Cross it off. Who's next? 23. Who's this? Uh, yeah, 13. Who's the smallest number? Nine. All right. Now use these digits, nine, three, two, and seven to make a four Make four different two-digit numbers less than 40. Okay, so look over here and make me a number less than 40. I'll help you. Here's a number less than 40. 27, as I could put a two and a seven together. How about we make another one? How about this number right here? Yeah, 32. Let's take another small number. Oh, I hear you. You're gonna say 38, that's a good one. Well, what about this one, a three and a seven? Yep, 37. Did we get four of them? One, two, three, four, check, we're done. All right, again, you have homework. It's just like we just did where you draw the tens and ones. And then on the back, you put the numbers in order. Can't wait to see you later. Don't forget to send pictures and send them to your teacher if you wish, bye.